Ronico's massive tips. The bone barb bow. The bone barb bow is one of the ways of giving a hunter multi-target attacks. It's in fact the only way of giving a baseline hunter a multi-target attack. It gives you the penetration of a bulwark's uh, attack, which means that within a particular range, it will hit everything in a line. Uh, it does even give you a dashed line to kind of indicate to you what it will hit. Uh, it's important to pay attention to this because you will get friendly fire from this, so uh, pay attention. Don't accidentally kill your own heroes. It's very possible and very embarrassing when it happens. Uh, it is worth noting that this penetration does not apply to all attacks. So if you use, for example, an explosive shot, you'll notice that the dotted line will disappear and you'll have a regular flask shot attack. So that can be quite useful if you have a problem with your positioning and want to deal with that. The other thing that's worth noting with a penetrating attack is that the attack roll is made once, which means that either you hit everything in the line or you hit nothing in the line. It is an all or none style of attack. So what you should do is you should pick an enemy in a given line that you've got the highest chance of hitting because it makes no difference to the damage. So yeah, go for the easiest target in any given line. That's it. I mean, it doesn't have a great damage compared to a regular crossbow. It's slightly worse, but because it can hit multiple targets and because it's the only way to hit multiple targets, it can be useful. In general, though, I'm aiming to get a nice crossbow relic because they work really well with hunters Hunters are all about high single damage, so I don't find it compelling enough to use over a crossbow. And given that I use hunters relatively heavily, I tend to have a relic crossbow, and because it's Cadence Gear, you won't get a relic crossbow from it.